in my laboratory, we are carried out from the perspective of physical therapy, research into methods of evaluating functional in children and adults whom with developmental disorders such as cerebral palsy, the development of rehabilitation programs, research into the burden of nursing care, and research into the establishment of an envelopment and assistive tools. When developing medical equipment, assistive and health equipment, it is important to correctly understand the needs of people using that. It is important to develop equipment that can provide care in line with the strength and movement of that person. As a physical therapist, we face people on the daily based in the clinical field who require our support. Based on this experience and knowledge, we have collaborated with cooperation and other researchers within the university to plan and design a wide variety of support equipment and health-related products. And by actually taking the finished prototype to the clinical field, we can monitor and make improvements thus producing final products that match the needs in the field. For example, there is a shoe brand series Prima Style, which we developed in collaborate with private enterprises. I think this strong product is a good example of how we add ease to use and functionality to the excellent strengths of concept and design brought by the Corporation. This handler synchronized its behavior with the standing user. In other words, it reacts to movement, speed, and load, and automatically adds the standing operation of the user, firstly forward and then upward. That is to say, it does not assist the standing operation itself but is a tool that draw out the latent potential residing in the person standing up. When helping the user to standing up, there is a tendency to think technically in terms of applying a large degree of force to lift entire weight. From the viewpoint of rehabilitation, we consider how to use the strength of the person receiving the care and only support the areas in which they are lacking. If we use the potential strengths of the care for a person, it will not require a large amount of force to get him or her lift entire weight. The use of equipment utilized potential capability in the way can prevent disuse syndrome caused by not use the body and can lead to the extension of daily lives in which the user is independent both physically and mentally. There has been a lot of attention focused on caring robots, but a little more time is required on functionally safety and cost perceptive for the spread of robot providing physical support. We have been developing communication robot supporting link between people. If the elderly community can be arriving by communication robots, and this promises to improve the health of elderly people and provide a link to rehabilitation. In order to develop those kind of robot, it is necessary to fuse knowledge and information in a wide variety of fields, such as social science, psychology, communication, engineering, and medical care. A major advantage of the Tokyo Metropolitan University is that this kind of cross-sectional research and development is possible, and I would like to use to continue manufacturing while playing this fusion role moving forward.